Today, I'm gonna be flying one of the world's best airlines you've never heard of. This is Porter, and I'm gonna be showing you everything they have to offer on their brand new jets, and what they call a luxurious economy experience. On top of that, I'm gonna be bringing you through my entire journey, from check-in to boarding, and most importantly, I will tell you exactly how much this flight would cost you, and it is truly shocking. Not only that, but I've got a few other surprises planned along the way to make things even better. So it's time to get things started from Toronto International Airport. So two weeks ago, I tried filming this exact video where I was almost arrested and everything that could have gone wrong ended up happening. But today, we're finally gonna be able to try out Porter's brand new jet on their luxurious economy experience on what they call Porter Reserve. And to make things even better, I'm joined today with my girlfriend, Maddie. Hi. But anyway, so far things have got off to a really good start because last night I was able to do the check-in process and things actually went super smooth. All we had to do was make sure our personal information was accurate. Then we were able to pick our seats wherever we wanted and add bags if we wanted to do so. And after that, we were all checked in and ready to go. But so far we haven't actually got our boarding passes yet. So we're gonna head down to departures and do that right now. Morning. Yep. And you both are going to Calgary? Yep. Are you checking in any bags? I don't think so, no. Yeah. Okay. And do you have any carry ons Yeah, we have yeah. two. Oh, okay. Uh, can you just place them one at a time on the scale, please? Yeah, worst case, if we have to yeah. check them, we'll just check them. All right, that one's good. Perfect. This one is a little too much. Okay. You can try putting some stuff into the other can one. Can we just right? check that one? Yeah, you can check it as well. Okay, cool. Perfect. So I just put your bag tag on the back of your boarding pass here. Okay. okay. And then your gate is gate B41. The entrance to security is just right behind you here, the BC gate. So awesome, thank you so much. You're Have a good one. Thank you. Oh, there you go. All right, I've never had a designated check-in before, but now that we got our boarding passes, we're gonna head through security to check out the first surprise that I have planned for us today. And after making our way towards the gates, we came across the American Express Priority Security Line. And thanks to being a platinum card holder, we were able to get through security ahead of everybody else. I don't know why, but every single time me and Maddie travel, for some reason, she's the one that gets double checked by security. But funny enough, when I travel by myself, I'm the one that always gets checked. But anyways, it is finally time for the first surprise that I have planned for us today. And that is gonna be a tour of the exclusive Plaza Premium Lounge. After making our way inside, we were greeted with a massive lobby before making our way to the primary seating area. This section of the lounge was quite large and had beautiful views overlooking the tarmac, but what really matters is the food. For breakfast, they were serving hash browns, sausages, and eggs, where Maddie decided to add a muffin to hers while I went all out, and luckily the food was quite good. Going up for seconds, the food now transitioned to lunchtime, serving Asian-inspired dishes like sweet and sour chicken, noodles, and rice, which was unbelievable, especially adding in a brownie for dessert. Unfortunately, today we wouldn't be getting any drinks since the bar was closed, and after a quick bathroom break in one of the most disgusting bathrooms I have ever been in, let alone for a lounge, it was now time to make our way to the gate. So how was that for your first ever lounge experience? I actually kind of liked it. It was super bougie, the food was good, and I felt comfortable, you know? Surprisingly, I actually thought the lounge was pretty good. I've been to a total of three now, and I'd have to put that in second place. But now it is time for us to finally head towards the gate because I think it is supposed to be boarding soon, and we definitely don't want to miss it considering we don't even know where the gate is yet. So after making our way through the airport and checking the boards above, we were able to locate our gate, and luckily we were still on time. But now before we board the plane, I realized I haven't really given you guys much context about the airline and what people think about them, so allow me to explain. According to Skytrax, Porter is considered to be a four-star airline with exceptional ratings in all areas. And for reference, a popular airline like Delta was only rated three stars. Passengers talk about Porter's above and beyond service, claiming it is the best airline in all of Canada, and even going as far to say it was the best airline in someone's 40 years of frequent flying. Now, personally, Porter is my favorite airline in all of Canada. I have never had any major issues with them. Every time I fly their regional planes, it is an unreal experience. And in my opinion, they have the best economy class I have ever been on in my entire life. But anyways, it is finally time to board the plane. So let's see what Porter's brand new jet and their luxurious economy class is actually like. Now, I'll be completely honest. After making our way towards the gate, we realized the flight had encountered a slight delay. So instead of boarding at 11.45, it ended up being closer to 1215. But nevertheless, soon enough, it was time to get in line. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Just oh, sorry about that. Thank you. 
Yeah, that's kind of important there. <laughs> it is, yeah. Thank you, have a good flight. Thank you, have a good one. After two weeks and almost getting arrested, it is finally time to check out this jet. I am incredibly excited. For today's flight, me and Maddie were in seats 3A and B in Porter Reserve, where the first four rows are dedicated to this type of ticket. After boarding the plane, we were immediately greeted by friendly flight attendants before getting seated. What makes Porter's jet so different from other airlines is that they fly in Embraer, which is a two x two for the entire cabin, unlike the others, which is normally a three x three. And after getting comfortable, the Porter hospitality began. The menu for today's flight. Thank you. The menu for Thank today's you. flight. From flight to flight, Porter's menu will change, but for today we had the option of ham and brie croissants, tropical salmon pokey, a cheese and fruit tray, or a soba noodle bowl. But I'll be showing you just what we got in a few minutes. The first thing I noticed about the seats was just how much 36 inches of legroom actually was. And for someone who is 5'8", I could completely stretch out as much as I wanted. Underneath the seats was a ton of room for bags, which was nice to see, and even the overhead bins above were able to fit all kinds of carry-ons. Now since today's flight was quite empty, before we knew it, the gate was detaching from the plane and it was time for pushback. For today's flight, we'd be flying 4 hours and 14 minutes across Canada from Toronto to Calgary. And after making our way to the active taxiway, soon enough we were ready for takeoff. Now that we were in the sky, I decided now would be a great time to show you guys around the seat some more. Right off the bat, I was extremely impressed by how incredibly clean the cabin was, even in places that were traditionally quite dirty. On the overhead above, I found the reading lamp and air conditioning, which was definitely on the smaller end, but it still got the job done just fine. Making our way back to the seat, I found a double folding tray, which also fully extended, which was great to see. The pouch down below was also a pretty good size, which had things like the safety pamphlet, Reporter, which is a magazine all about Canadian locations and features of the airline, and also a sheet on how to connect to the Wi-Fi. On most airlines, you need to pay for Wi-Fi, but not on Porter. Movies are fully complimentary and to get access to the full flight Wi-Fi, all you need to do is sign up for their VI Porter loyalty program, which is completely free. And I'll be honest, I am a total nerd and I need fast Wi-Fi, and I'm happy to say that Porter's Wi-Fi was just as fast as something you'd use at home. But now it was time for the first meal of the flight. This is your appetizer. This is your appetizer. Thank you. Inside the eco-friendly box came with eating utensils, taco dips, biscuits, and crackers to start off, which was incredibly delicious. For drinks like wine, Porter always serves in glassware, which felt incredibly high-end. And for all the health nuts out there, you could even get ginger immunity shots fully included, but now it was time for the main dish. For lunch, I decided to go with the ham and brie croissant, while Maddie got the tropical salmon poke bowl, which was truly incredible. So what were your thoughts on the food? It definitely did not seem like airplane food. It felt more put together, fuller, it was good. Nothing really tasted like refrigerated for seven days, so I was impressed. I think another thing to add is most of the time when you're on a plane and you have airplane food, for the majority of the time, it's pretty unhealthy and you feel kind of crappy after. I also like that they had greenhouse juice options, which I've never had on a flight before. I think it's like Toronto based, so maybe that's why I was on there, but so good. Now after finishing lunch, it was time for the bathroom tour. If you're any taller than 5'8", you're definitely going to have to bend down in this one, but besides that, everything was super clean with all of the usual essentials you'd come to expect. Heading back to my seat, I realized there were a few things I forgot to tell you guys about. First off, each seat comes with two power outlets, which is a rare occurrence these days, and even small hangers on the sides of the seat for coats or hoodies. In terms of overall comfort, I definitely put these seats as one of the comfier economy ones I've sat on during my my travels, where they come with a pretty standard pitch when reclining too. And at this point, I'm sure you're probably wondering one of the most important pieces of information. How much did this flight actually cost? Well, for this route in particular from Toronto to Calgary, for Porter Classic, it starts at $199. But for Porter Reserve, which is basically their premium economy, first class, whatever you want to call it, costs $399 Canadian. Even if you're not flying Porter Reserve, Porter Classic is just as good and for $199, that is an unreal price, especially considering you still get premium snacks, you still get glassware drinks, and a lot of other food options as well. And speaking of snacks, just before coming in for landing, the flight attendant came around with a basket full of snacks. Maddie decided to go with a mix of nuts while I went for the banana bread, which was absolutely delicious. 
After finishing up, we realized we were now starting to get close to Calgary, and before we knew it, we were coming in for landing. A few days later, I took a return flight home, which was another amazing experience, with the only real difference being what kind of food was served. Overall, Porter was an awesome airline to fly, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to watch this one next where I compare North America's worst airlines against each other.